Now I will explain the model 4 in that uh, sources, collection and treatment of biomedical waste, e-waste, hazardous waste and construction waste. This is a, I will explain total detail about it. Okay, one by one I will explain. First one, biomedical waste. Okay, biomedical waste. See these are the sources of biomedical waste you can see in the hospital or in the medical colleges uh, all uh, things. Lot of tablets uh, this one and uh, uh, this one bones and human organ parts and uh, so many operation theater materials and uh, blood banks and it may be teeth uh, dental uh, this one and uh, many things are there in the sources of uh, biomedical waste. You can see different types of uh, biomedical waste uh, syringe and uh, this one so many uh, knives and uh, so many plastic materials okay so many tablets and uh, some uh, uh, this one liquid uh, uh, materials and a uh, lot of uh, things we can see in the biomedical waste. That's all hospital waste, okay? The syringes, this one, and uh, so many operation, uh, this one, mask, and uh, so many operation, band-aid, lot of things we can see in the biomedical waste. One by one, we will see what are the sources and what are the types, how they are uh, transport, how they, this is one of the very, very important to control uh, this uh, uh, management of the biomedical waste. It is not a solid waste. It is different from the uh, solid waste. This how uh, government have uh, so many rules, uh, change the rules uh, for this, for biomedical waste. It is not the same rules as the solid waste. It is uh, different from the, okay, solid waste. Biomedical waste, hazardous waste have different rules and different amendments, okay. One by one, we will study in the biomedical waste, okay. We have to take care, all the hospital has to take care because all human parts, blood and organic parts are there in the, this one. So, we have to take care about uh, this one, okay. All uh, uh, this about the biomedical waste. See the uh, sources, it may be dental, it, that may be medicinal, uh, liquid medicine or a lab. See here, uh, there is a bandaid, okay, there is a bandaid cover with the blood, okay, glasses, okay, so many biohazard materials, this one, glass materials, okay, blood, everything see that here, medical waste, okay, very, it have this, all the organic uh, part, microbes in this, their management is uh, very, very important, okay. This waste management, it contains blood, it is the teeth with the blood and um, bone and syringe, okay. Everything, it is uh, have the lot of microbes in this. So, this management is very, very important, okay. Uh, this have the different categories of the management, collection is also different, okay. And, uh, uh, transportation also different process and disposal is also different process in this okay here we can see the tablets also different tablets uh, different materials in a hospital management okay now we go for uh, this one see what are the uh, main where the uh, source of the hazardous waste okay first one is the hospital very, very important hospital, you all know lot of patients are there, okay, outpatient department, a lot of operation theatres, testing, all the blood bank and laboratories, everything is there. From there, lot of waste, hospital waste comes, like band-aid, uh, body part, okay, blood and a uh, lot of uh, this one, hair or a lot of tooth, uh, okay, teeth, uh, this one in a dentistry or many things are there where which will come, okay. The waste, this is a very, it contain organic content, okay, lot of microbes in this, okay? microbes and uh, some of the, uh, okay, bacteria in this. So, we have to take care that hospital waste, 
okay hospital waste management is one of the separate uh, division okay hospital waste lot of care has to take okay but who are uh, this one who are managing the hospital waste okay another one emergency care facilities this also lot of uh, accident cases lot of uh, uh, patients are available their uh, operations and their uh, anything okay that's also one of the uh, uh, this hospital waste okay biomedical waste outpatient facilities we will also get lot of uh, okay waste from the okay dialysis center kidney okay dialysis center from here also we will get a lot of uh, biomedical waste prisons okay transfusion center laboratories and uh, lot of uh, biomedical waste we will get from the laboratory lot of chemicals tested okay urine test and blood test lot of that lot of bloods are uh, uh, this one this is a very 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 important this laboratory we have to take care about and also mortuaries okay where the bodies or mortuaries where the bodies are uh, kept dead bodies okay and uh, they are cutting everything uh, we will uh, do that okay and uh, okay after the death we will cut the bow this one their body part how the death take place okay uh, everything we have to see there lot of uh, this is body parts and everything will be this one okay and death care center here also companies death care companies here also they will cut the body and uh, this one body part and lot of bloods and everything will come this is a lot of uh, biomedical waste will come and blood bank blood bank also one of the important source okay blood bank lot of bloods uh, it will be there different uh, kinds of bloods and different viruses different this one there, from there also we will get lot of biomedical waste okay nursing home okay small hospital nursing home lot of patients will come lot of uh, uh, this bandages and uh, lot of uh, bloods lot of this one everything will come in the nursing home okay this is uh, our sources where we get the bio medical waste Ah, uh, this one hospital first one. What I told hospital, emergency care system, outpatient facility, dialysis center, transfusion center, laboratory, mortuaries, death care companies, blood bank, and nursing homes, where we get the major sources of biomedical waste. And here also doctor and dental. Ah, uh, this one chiropractor. Okay, and ambulance companies, needle exchange. tattoo uh, parlors and ear pairing places okay this all uh, this also dentist uh, this one uh, the tooth and blood and oper uh, this one lot of uh, we will uh, get the biomedical waste from the dental okay and doctors okay chiropractors okay here also we will get uh, uh, this one waste biomedical waste ambulance companies from the they will take the body or patients or anything there also we will get a lot of biomedical waste and uh, needle exchange this is very very important needle exchange from here also we will get the needles and syringes and everything tattoo parlors from here also we will get lot of uh, biomedical waste uh, tattoo parlor okay blood and everything ear pairing places okay year uh, cleaning the ears and uh, this one and uh, lot of uh, places we will get the biomedical waste okay this is sources very important what are the sources what i told okay one by one hospital emergency care facilities outpatient facility dialysis center transfusion center laboratory mortuaries death care companies blood bank nursing homes okay and Uh, doctors and dentists of the chiropractors uh, ambulance uh, companies are needed like seeing tattoo parlor and ear pain places this in this we will get lot of uh, okay biomedical waste this is the main source of uh, 
biomedical waste. You can see the major uh, multi-specialist hospital or any hospital, we will get lot of uh, waste per day. Proper cash should be taken for that and very important, okay, this is, uh, we have to take care the, okay, a collection of the, this biomedical waste, okay. Now, we go for biomedical waste collection. We came to know what are the sources. I already told what are the hospitals, which are the, uh, where we get the biomedical waste and uh, which are the major hospitals to small uh, dental and uh, small uh, this one tattoo parlor all we get which are the waste available i already explained this one okay now collection of biomedical waste involve different types of container from the various source of the okay like operation theater laboratory ward kitchen co corridor container bin should be placed with 100% of the collection actually. See in the hospital, the collection of the waste, okay, in different types of the container, biomedical waste, like operation theater or container with a different type color bag, okay, laboratory, wall, everything, different, different color bags we are used for the collection system, placed where the collection, so we can see one by one, this is the, okay, different for body part, one bag, yellow color bag, another blue color bag and a white color bag and a red color bag, different types of color bags we are used for the collection of the biomedical waste. See here different types, okay, yellow color indicates human animal anatomical, okay, waste, okay, expired medicines, chemical waste, body fluid and clinical waste this yellow color bag or a yellow color container, human, okay, and animal anatomical waste, okay, salt waste, expired medicines, chemical waste, body fluid, and clinical waste used in yellow color bag, very, very important, okay, yellow color bag. We can see in hospital the yellow color bag in that this waste are used, uh, pack this uh, waste are in the yellow color bag. We, are, we should not exchange the very, very important in the yellow color bag. There is a rules what are the waste should be fit, okay. In, uh, in this we cannot, red color bag, yellow color bag, we cannot mix that. In the red, uh, orange or uh, orange color bag, okay, contaminated way, waste like recyclable waste, plastic bag, bottle, pipe uh, or a container is used in an orange bag. See this only, this cannot be mixed, very, very important. There is a strict rule in biomedical waste, only yellow color bag, we can use human, animal, anatomical waste. Okay, spot based, expired medicine, chemical waste, body fluid, and clinical waste. Okay, in orange color or only contaminated waste, recyclable like plastic waste, bottle, pipes, or container. Okay, white color, okay, bag, white color, color container, okay, staples. Blades, needles, syringes, including sharp material only, it is used in the white color. See, very, very important. Scapels, blades, needles, syringes, and into sharp metal and hard metal only used in the white color. Okay. And blue color black, broken glass wares or metallic body implants. Okay, only see. That there is a rule in biomedical waste management rules 2016 amendment. Yellow color bag only use this one. Human anatomical waste, salt waste, expired medicine, chemical waste, and body fluid and clinical waste. Orange color contaminated waste only. Plastic bottles and pipes and containers. White color blades, scalpels, needles, syringe and sharp metals only and 
ब्लू कलर ब्रोकन ग्लास वेर और मेटेलिक बॉडी पार्ट इम्प्लांट ओनली विच आर द फॉलोइंग ट्रू ट्रू अबाउट द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट क्लासिफाइड फोर कैटेगरी बेस्ड ऑन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑपरेशन दीज रूल्स आर सिग्निफाइड हॉस्पिटल ओनली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज द रूल्स ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट ओके डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैग we can see different other also different types this is from 2016 amendment rule solid waste one rules it has changed from 2002 to 2016 and biomedical also it has changed to 2002 to 2016 see here different types you can see what are the bags plug okay the blue color green these different types in the hospitals we can see what should be the waste for the food waste okay for this uh, bag blue color and for computer and everything uh, okay glass green color okay everything body parts syringe and everything okay different different types of uh, for e waste one color different types of what are available okay this is the types of the okay color uh, okay for the if uh, other materials in uh, hospital hospital we are getting e waste also sometime hospital we are getting a plastic waste also recyclable waste also okay tablets and everything food waste also it is also separated different different color have different waste classified okay here one this one okay e waste okay glasses plastics this one and uh, this one bottles okay plastic bottle this way we are using different material see how the after the collection of the safety of the collector of the this one they are fully packed with the, uh, this one and uh, um, uh, okay all mask and shoes and everything pack okay they are taking the care while uh, taking this biomedical waste okay biomedical waste they will take care before taking the biomedical we see how they are taking to the uh, treatment process okay they will pack different type colors bag different color containers okay they will take different different ways see here different uh, this also they are given a separate uh, this one segregation of the hospital waste okay they will segregate in different uh, categories hospital waste okay different uh, segregation okay this one different uh, simple waste and uh, this all waste okay glass and different 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 colors they are segregated and that is taken to the treatment uh, this one syringe everything metal waste organ parts everything bottles okay parts uh, blood and everything this one okay these are different category they will do they will segregate the waste uh, this in different different color and they will take for the treatment this is the very important of the segregation of the waste we have to segregate different plastic is different a blood uh, this one organic parts is different and a syringe is and different okay metallic part is different then it's most to the okay most to the treatment process see yellow color bag uh, i explained okay black color bag okay blue color bag uh, i explained the color in that which all the waste are okay fit see in yellow color bag in infectious waste infected waste bandages gloves cotton or any object uh, which contact with the body fluid okay human body parts and uh, this is very very important yellow color it contain more organic okay more organic part in the yellow color bag okay and uh, this one uh, red color bag this plastic waste such as uh, okay uh, syringe syringe uh, okay any bottle plastic bottle blood uh, this one plastic bottle it is used in this bag yellow color is very very important blue bag all the types of glasses bottles okay broken glasses 
all these have taken okay discarded in the blue color uh, black color is needle without uh, without syringe blade shafts and other metal articles these are the different colors bags are used in the hospital for the collection very very important we have to uh, amendment uh, 2016 we have to okay uh, we have to obey the rule all the hospital has to obey the rule yellow color bag this one these are the uh, materials we can fill it uh, red color bag this one okay and uh, blue color bag this much okay black color this much this this cannot be mixed it cannot be mixed this can be cannot be mixed yellow color uh, banded cannot be used in red color bag a uh, blue color and we can we cannot uh, do that we have to obey the rules of the government or uh, this uh, hospital waste management association uh, this one we have to obey the rule only a yellow color bag this way should be put and uh, for red color bag this way should be and uh, and blue color bag this way should be and black color this is the types so we can see the in a hospital uh, container which contain yellow color container for filling the waste red color container for filling the waste blue bags used for uh, this one and black okay Use for okay this type of uh, we can see in the hospital. If you go to hospital, you can see different different container are kept in the side for the filling the waste. Okay, very very important. This one the hospital has to obey this. Okay, biomedical waste management segregation. Okay, uh, I acknowledge. this is a video from the youtube uh, thanks to youtube okay i will uh, show the video now i am going to discuss about biomedical waste management biomedical waste means any kind of a waste which is generated in the healthcare facility during the activities of diagnosis treatment or immunization for a human being or animal or in research activities pertaining to the production or testing of biological or in health care management include series of steps where the biomedical waste has to be treated in such a manner that it will never cause any adverse effect to human beings or to the environment management includes five different series of steps like segregation collection pre treatment intramural transportation and storage healthcare facilities are the primary resource where the biomedical waste management is generated waste includes biomedical waste general waste and other waste 80% of the waste are general waste and other waste 15% include biomedical waste where the segregation collection and major treatment is required general waste include wet waste dry waste and uh, construction waste and demolition waste then other waste includes batteries e waste and radioactive waste where the normal treatment is required when it comes to the biomedical waste the real treatment and segregation is required various types of biomedical waste categories and it can be majorly categorized into four different um, um, bins those are yellow bin red bin white bin and blue bin now let's see what are the categories and how the categories can be really segregated okay when it comes to the yellow category human anatomical waste majorly like tissues and organs uh, after the surgery or minor procedures and examples like placenta after the viability period can be put into this yellow bin along with that soiled items like um, ghost pieces uh, cotton balls swabs dressings which is soiled with the blood or body fluids can be included in yellow category chemical fluids then chemical uh, drugs especially cytotoxic drugs exam example are um, antibiotics and other cytotoxic drugs which is in contact with vi virus or ampules can directly put into the yellow bag microbiological content like live or attenuated vaccine can be put into the um, yellow bag and also 
uh, microbiological cultures can be put into yellow bag. When it comes to the red category, which include tubings, bottles, catheters, urine bag, dialysis kits, IV bottles, contaminated waste, which, which can be recycled, uh, can go to the red category. Mainly, when we are, whenever, whenever we are putting urine bag or blood bag, so it is better we are emptying and put it into the red bag, so that will directly can recycle. Next category is white bag where we have to put the sharp instruments like needles, syringe which is attached with the needles, okay, and scalpels, blade which is in contact of which after the surgery we, we can directly put into the white bag, needle from needle tip, cutter or boner, then sharp objects, any other sharp objects can go, can go to the white bag. Last one is blue bag where the broken glass pieces like wires and ampules can go into it. Then uh, nails, body implants, scissors, lab slides also can go to the blue bag. In the healthcare facility, all these four categories have to be placed near to the hand washing facility. This can be placed in a sequence like black bag, yellow bag and red bag. Then it has to be 10 feet away from the bedside or the warmer. The ratio of keeping this set of uh, uh, waste material categories uh, with the bed is 10 is to 1 set as the number of beds increases the set of keeping this um, waste categories also can be increased this should be readily available to the approachable area with the healthcare staffs when it comes to the yellow bag and red bag we can use a non-chlorinated uh, polythene bag instead of directly keeping into the bins in case of a white bag, we can use a white translucent bins. It, it could be puncture proof, leak proof or temper proof. Then the third, fourth one is a blue bag. A cardboard box, it should not be any polythene cover or a normal blue color dustbin. It could be puncture proof or leak proof. Waste must be segregated on point of generation. Where the generation occurs, mainly in case of Healthcare facility, all kind of a generation occurs, there the segregation has to be done. Biomedical waste has to be collected daily from each department and it should be sent for treatment on a daily basis. In matter of packaging, each bag should be contained with a waste of 3 fourth, not more than that. After the bag is full, it can be sealed with a plastic tag. Never Never ever stapler the bags. Labeling and barcoding of each bag has to be done after the collection. This is according to the guidelines which is generated in 2019 March. Last part of management is treatment. How the each category is being treated, we will see that in brief. First one is yellow category. Here majorly we can do the treatment with incineration or deep burial. And chemical waste can be pre-treated. Linen or mattresses can be disinfected before it's sent for the incineration. Second, the red bag can be directly sent for autoclaving or microwaving. Third one, white bag, the sharp instruments can be microwave or autoclave. Then it can be uh, followed by shredding or mutilation. The last blue category can be soaked with the can be disinfected by soaking it with sodium hypochlorite solution or else it can be microwave or autoclave then by recycling. This is about a brief description on biomedical waste management. Thank you for listening. Video you can see the treatment of the biomedical waste uh, in the hospital. Uh, Madam has explained how the treatment uh, uh, this one collection in uh, which all the bags and uh, which are the bags which are the uh, material should be uh, okay uh, used and uh, uh, we, uh, types, colors, different color bags, okay, different color bags and which are the uh, different types of bags in the hospital. Doctor has explained you about this, okay. Now we will go for the treatment of the biomedical waste, very, very important, a source over, collection over, okay. Now treatment, how it is treated, okay, how it is treated, biomedical waste, okay. Now it is a sharp uh, materials, see how it is treated, 
infected uh, non waste material plastic material okay uh, general waste okay uh, plastic infected waste autoclaving is done okay burning autoclaving shredding cutting and some goes to for recycling okay some uh, buried okay some buried and insulation is very very important here insulation burning uh, up to 1500 degrees celsius some waste are burnt okay uh, burnt uh, 1500 ashes will come it is buried okay here general uh, this one general waste municipal landfill and manure it is done food waste is there they go for the manure and uh, landfill and manure they most to the this one okay and another one this uh, very important is this one okay our uh, body part and uh, organic part everything it is burned above 1500 degrees celsius to 1800 degrees celsius insulation the ash will be formed that is buried and uh, later uh, this one sharp material and plastic uh, uh, infected with auto cleaving and cutting is done and it will go for the recycling okay these are the types of uh, treatment is done in the biomedical waste okay uh, these are the, you can see the different i will explain one by one okay next uh, the next slide i will explain okay these are the treatment process see auto cleaving is the, what i told auto cleaving here okay auto cleaving uh, insulation is the burning process and uh, pyrolysis one uh, category and uh, microwaves another category and sharp uh, okay sharp uh, fit okay auto cleaving this is the treatment process of the medical waste okay auto cleaving is less temperature okay temperature uh, uh, auto cleaving is done some of the waste insulation it is the burning process okay uh, high temperature we are burning the waste ashes will come in this waste okay this is uh, mainly yellow color bag we are uh, using body part or uh, a blood or any uh, bread and uh, bandages everything we are burning it it contain lot of organic uh, 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 microbes and bacteria and lot of things we are burning this hospital waste this is the major treatment okay major treatment and uh, second one is the by, uh, pyrolysis which contain organic uh, this also by the burning it won't go okay this is another type of the treatment is the pyrolysis okay any oil content or organic content is there it cannot be burned with the insulation okay this pyrolysis process of treatment is done okay and burying material sharp uh, sharp pit okay it may be needle or it may be anything okay it can recyclable okay otherwise it is buried okay buried in earth okay and microwave material these are the types of treatment okay biomedical uh, waste what i told autoclave less temperature we are burning okay this one uh, insulation with a high temperature organic content uh, and oil content or anything is there pyrolysis okay sharp pits okay in this and microwaves okay autoclave these are the process of uh, treatment of the biomedical very very important there is a separate treatment not like a uh, this one okay not like a solid waste uh, dump yard or a solid waste treatment here is the separate treatment because lot of uh, these are there microbes and uh, lot of uh, uh, bacteria lot of uh, organic parts lot of this is a very very important this is the different types it is a very uh, treatment is a very costly okay it is cost more but uh, government have taken separate treatment process okay separate treatment process for the biomedical waste for collection also government have separate rule for uh, collection and transportation also government have separate rule okay 
for the treatment also government have uh, taken a separate rule in a 2016 amendment okay biomedical based yeah now which are the treatment of the biomedical waste first one thermal treatment second one chemical process third one irradiation process fourth one biological process these are the very very important treatment what i explained in first slide okay first one thermal heat chemical using the chemical irradiation process and biological process okay these are the four treatment we can do thermal burning using chemical by radiation okay radiation and biological process one by one we will go what are the thermal process what are the chemical process treatment of the biological waste biomedical waste irradiation process of the biomedical waste and biological process of the biomedical waste one by one we will first one is the chemical we from the chemical we will start then we go for other this one the process use of chemical for uh, disinfectant sodium hypochlorite dissolved chlorine dioxide acetic acid hydrogen peroxide dry uh inorganic chemicals and ozone are example for the chemicals treatment okay in the chemical treatment what are the agents we are using okay chemicals such as disinfectant sodium hydrochloride okay dissolved chlorine dioxide second one okay acetic acid hydrogen peroxide dry inorganic chemicals and ozone treatment are the example of such chemicals in a chemical treatment process these are the chemical we are using for the treatment of the bio uh, medical waste okay chemical what the chemical i given the example which are the chemical used from here to okay from sodium to here sodium uh, this one dissolved chlorine uh, acetic acid hydrogen peroxide dry inorganic chemical and ozone is the example for the chemical treatment in the biomedical waste most of the chemical process are water intensive and okay requires neutralizing agent okay it is uh, most of the chemical are water uh, intensive and requires neutralizing agents okay in the chemical process understand no first treatment is the chemical in the biomedical waste we are using the some of the chemicals what i shown here and uh, this process of uh, most uh, chemical process are water intensive and required neutralizing agents in this okay when we uh, i will show the example of a chemical okay here this is the equipment we are using for a, a chemical uh, this one okay chemical process see here how the chemical process is done here in this different types of uh, chemicals are used for the treatment okay sodium uh, hypochlorite uh, dissolved chlorine used in that machine uh, acetic acid hydrogen peroxide nitrogen inorganic chemicals and ozones are the example of chemicals which is used in this okay it is this machine this is modern technology equipment with the chemical treatment is done in this equipment for the biomedical waste treatment okay and we go for uh, another thermal process second one very very important thermal process okay low heat system and uh, high heat system in this there okay low heat uh, system about 93 to 177 degree use streams hot water electromagnetic radiation to okay to, uh, to heat and uh, uh, determine the waste autoclave and microwave are the low heat what i told that time 
autoclave and microwave or the low heat system in the thermal treatment process. Okay. Autoclaving and microwave are the uh, low heat system about 93 degree to 7, uh, 177 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, use streams, uh, hot water, electromagnetic radiation and uh, okay and uh, heat okay decontaminates the waste autoclaving and microwaving are used in the low heat we can see the this one uh, you can see autoclave as shown that one autoclave okay here uh, here autoclave this is the example for autoclave it is uh, 170 degree celsius okay 40 to 170 this low heat autoclaving this is the low heat autoclaving in this uh, 177 degree celsius we can used okay and uh, high heat insulation we can see the high heat okay insulation okay high heat okay autoclaving and uh, low heat uh, this one it is about uh, i have shown the equipment also uh, 97 to 17 uh, degree Autoclaving is a low heat uh, thermal process and use uh, less streams uh, uh, for the uh, disinfection of uh, uh, waste. Autoclaving are two types depending upon the method they are used for removal of air pockets. They are gravity flow autoclaving and vacuum autoclaving. Okay, thank you. Continue in the next class.